on WDIA. How you doing, GK? Don't you ever get old, girl. Yes, I do. You sure don't look it. Hey, well, thank you. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome in to WDIA, the Babylon Show. It's a sound listeners have enjoyed for 46 years. It is indeed a pleasure to have you with us once again. The voice of the living legend and queen of talk, V. Bev Johnson. We are live from Soulsville, USA. We say God, y'all. She's been welcomed in the homes and cars of thousands over the decades, helping people make decisions about life, love, and living. Her impact, long lasting. Her personality, larger than life. Her talent, undeniable. But she's living a career that almost wasn't. Carl Haynes called me, program director at WJMI. He said, I'd like to offer you a job. Johnson, a native of Memphis who was later raised in the home of Motown, dreamed of being behind the mic but doing it in front of the television as a TV news reporter. It's a pleasure doing this. Bev Johnson has been named Billboard Personality of the Year and honored by local and state leaders and the U.S. House of Representatives. A career in radio was not in her heart or her plan. But one woman would change her mind. The world would soon meet the queen of talk thanks to wisdom and one piece of advice from her grandmother. She said, baby, when someone gives you an opportunity and it's good, take it. Afraid of nothing but determined to get everything life could offer, Johnson said yes and her ride on the radio waves took off. Because I always tell people, George, I had the best of both worlds. Coming down in the summer in Memphis, living around the corner from Stax, and then living in Ann Arbor, Michigan, at Motown, so I had the music. Boy, you sure did. She joined WJSU as an overnight disc jockey. Soon after, she worked for WOKJ, WJMI, and WKXI radio stations in Jackson, Mississippi, eventually becoming their program assistant, public affairs director, and then news director. Positions rarely held by women and almost never by people of color. Her bright light shined during a dark time in America. Only eight years separated Johnson's debut on the radio and the civil rights era, a chapter of America's story that told the tale of a people oppressed, denied of their future, unable to hope and dream. It's the strength resilience and undeniable courage of her ancestors that gave Johnson the audacity to believe that she, a little girl from Memphis, coded in the music of Motown, could go wherever destiny carried her. In the early 80s, the Queen of Talk returned to her hometown of Memphis, where she worked at WLOK, WMQM, and WWEE WLVS. It wasn't long before she finally landed at home, the historic WDIA. They call the Queen of Talk, DJ Bev Johnson, WDIA. It's there where Bev Johnson became a household name. It's there where she would plant roots, tackle social issues, and from time to time, have some good girl talk. <laughs> you know I love you. I love you. I'm trying to, this ain't right. Yes, it is. It's correct. Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame. That's right. She posted on her Facebook page the surprise announcement left her unusually speechless. <laughs> Johnson, known for her soul and spice, has long been in demand lend her opinion and personality to courageous and controversial conversations. They were out of line. Why so? Did they know the man? Did they know the woman? Apparently not. Well, they're out of line. Mind your own damn business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that'll be enough for today. <laughs> she is a living legend. This is Bev Johnson. Miss. Miss. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Miss Bev Johnson. I like you, I think. Pretty young man. She's known to be fun, fair, tough, and unafraid, known to hold elected officials accountable. Community Education 911. The urgency of a quality education and how 
the entire community plays a role. She's lived a career of first, a career of overcoming, a career of breaking through and opening the doors so others can also enter. Good people give you happiness. Bad people give you experience. The worst people give you a lesson. And the best people give you memories. It's no surprise that this microphone maven. My name is Sally. And icon. We are live from USA. Is the Radio Hall of Fame's first African American woman inductee, a testament to a career that almost never was. It'll be my favorite story of the day. Congratulations, Bev. All of us at Fox 13 think they got it right. Way to go, Bev. Way to represent the 901. You're listening to The Bev Johnson Show on WDIA.